and welcome to morning prayer for Monday the 8th of March. Um, Lynn is having a week off this week um, so I'm doing morning prayer today and Sheila's going to be doing morning prayer on Thursday and I apologise for the lack of alpacas. Um, I did try and have a rustle around to see if I could find any soft toys from the boys bedrooms that would, uh, would do the job but sadly I uh, couldn't find anything. But I hope you're all doing okay this morning. Um, we are morning prayer uh, for Monday the 8th of March. Our readings today, we've got Psalm 98, and I'm going to try something a little bit creative with Psalm 98 when we come to it, um, which, you know, may or may not work, but we'll give it a go. But it's a cracking psalm. Uh, so Psalm 98, and then John chapter 7, verses 37 to 52, um, when we come to that. So... Good morning to everybody. Morning, Glad. Morning, Leslie. Morning, June. Morning, Diana. Morning, Barbara. I'm just going to get this going over on the St Mary's page and then we'll make a start. Morning, Gail. Nice to see you all this morning. One of the things that it would be good to be praying for a little bit later on is uh, the schools as they go back and there'll be a lot of uh, children and parents going on the school run for the first time since before Christmas and Lucy's just taken Toby Charlie's not in till Friday but Lucy's taken Toby um, so we'll pray for the schools particularly a little bit later on uh, when we when we come to the intercessions morning Gloria morning Amanda morning Mark morning Anne morning Valerie lovely to see you all so uh, Psalm 98 John chapter 7 and let's pause ourselves for a moment as we begin O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. So let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 98. And the first line of the psalm is, Sing to the Lord a new song. And um, many years ago, uh, in a previous life, a previous job, uh, I worked for a church and part of my role was organising concerts and things. And we had a concert with uh, Graham Kendrick, who uh, you may well know, um, a sort of worship songwriter, uh, wrote Shine Jesus Shine and various other things. And um, one of the things he did in that concert was he took a psalm and um, I can't remember which psalm it was now. But he, he basically sort of made up a tune, improvised a tune to the psalm as as um, he sang it. And he had his little band with him and they, they made up this uh, song based on the psalm. Um, and it was really quite a lovely thing. And it's sort of something that every now and again I remember is something that you can do. And I was reading that, Sing to the Lord a new song this morning. And so I thought, well, I'd <laughs> have a go at doing it. And this may or may not work. And we're, we're winging it this morning. Uh, but it's a Monday, so it's OK. Um I'm going to sing Psalm 98, but I'm going to sort of make up the tune as we go, um, and we'll see see how it sounds. Um, yeah, so I haven't practiced this, haven't prepared anything, we're just making it up. But this is Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. Own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation, his 
deliverance as he openly showed In the sight of all the nations He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness Towards the house of Israel And all the ends of the earth have seen The salvation of our God Praises to the Lord, all the earth. Break into singing and make music to the Lord. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody, the trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sound praises before the Lord. fills it. Let the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills ring out together before the Lord. For he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world. With equity, the Lord has made known his salvation. Lord God, just and true, you make your salvation known in the sight of the nations. Tune the song of our hearts to the music of your creation as you come among us to judge the earth through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Our New Testament reading this morning is from John chapter 7 and beginning at verse 37. And I won't try and sing this one. <laughs> On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the spirit which believers in him were to receive, for as yet there was no spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some in the crowd said, this is really the prophet. Others said, this is the Messiah. But some asked, surely the Messiah does not come from Galilee, does he? Has not the scripture said that the Messiah is descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David lives? So there was a division in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. Then the temple police went back to the chief priests and the Pharisees, who asked them, why did you not arrest him? The police answered, never has anyone spoken like this. Then the Pharisees replied, surely you have not been deceived too, have you? Has any one of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, they are accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to Jesus before and who was one of them, asked, our law does not judge people without first giving them a hearing to find out what they are doing, does it? They replied, surely you're not also from Galilee, are you? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to arise from Galilee. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so our Advent, uh, not Advent, our Lent responsory in the wrong season. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, 
in you I trust. And so we come to our intercessions. Do you share in the comments? People, places, situations for prayer or for thanksgiving. Those who are shared on the on the live uh, stream on the St Peter's page, I'll weave into the prayers. But do share if you're watching later in the day or if you're watching over on the St Mary's page and others who see them will, will pray together. Um, and it's a wonderful way of sharing in prayer together um, each day. So almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we pray today for Tudor, for Ella, for Kate, for a friend of Nick's with brain cancer. We pray for all those returning to school today. We pray for those who are looking forward to it and those who are dreading it. We pray for the schools as they prepare to have full classrooms as, again. We pray for safety. We pray for those doing testing. Particularly pray for the high school as the different year groups come in each day this week. We pray for all those suffering from any physical or mental illnesses. We pray for healing for Mark, we pray for Nigel, for Chris, for Kathleen, for Sue, Sam, Jim, Lynn and Enid. We pray for teachers in the state. for Chris, Meg, Raphael, Sue, Andrew, Sarah and Francis. We pray for Heidi and Michael and Trevor. We pray for Celia who re who commences radiotherapy this week. Pray for those who are treating her. Pray for teachers and children returning to school. We pray for Jill. We pray for Ella. Kate and all the family. Pray for Alex and we pray for healing for Prince Philip and all those who are in hospital. We pray for friends and family we long to see in person. We pray for David, very poorly in hospital. Thanks for Barry's continued recovery. We pray for Adrian, Rob and Pat. We pray for Lynn. psalm about singing to the Lord a new song. We pray for musicians and 
others working in the performing arts, an industry that's struggled so much over the past year. We pray for preparations for reopening theatres and events. So we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Mighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all very much. Lovely to be with you this morning. And I do hope that whatever the rest of your day holds, it's a good and a blessed one. Go well.